Yo, it's too high fatness here. Mr. A. Vice, today we're talking about pressing government garbage. Oops, I mean sunset. Um, says it's 23% THC. Uh, comes in these white tins. The only thing that I think the government weed is good for is this is kind of a retirement plan. If you pull these containers apart and save the tin, bring it in for scrap metal when the prices are high. <coughs> so I'm going to turn it on. Uh, last video we did a 0.6 gram bud. That uh, was the biggest bud in here. So I found two other ones. One was a 0.5 and the other was a 0.4. So I put them both in here to kind of give better results. So we'll see how it is. It's had the humidity pack in there for a couple days. See if it actually made a difference in the last video. Uh, I think it's funny that they think this is actually a good product. Um, I drop bigger chunks than 0.6 a gram on the floor. I can never find it. So I don't know how they think these are actually worth anything. You're paying for the package, not the product. So the reason why I had it set up and started quick this time is it is government stuff it's you know been dried out so bad it's like having the biggest you know burn in your life and think that just regular moisturizer is going to do something about it so we put those humidity pack in there and see if this makes a difference of course i'll do a second press Shut it off. More pressure. Like I say, this is not a perfect press. This is probably the, one of the easier DIY rosin presses on the market, like that you can see on the videos. Um, I know it doesn't do as much as a professional rosin press would, but same time i'm kind of getting more exercise than those guys are because i can only do a little bit and i stand at this thing so it's beneficial to me but as you can see there's quite a bit of bubbles there for government garbage and i put a humidity pack in there no camera tricks no nothing i can't even edit so release that That's what it looks like. And instead of uh, folding the buds like I usually do, I'm just going to stack these two smaller buds together. Throw it back in there. I definitely need to grab some of those magnets that you see the little handles on or whatever. Uh, reposition that. There we go. Turn it on. Put the wrong way this time.
I'll show you guys what's going on here. Um, the stuff is pretty dry. I don't know if you can see on the paper, but even on the tool that I'm picking it up with, it's pretty dry like a shatter. So this test isn't going to work very good, of course, because it's not really fresh content. You know, the stuff you're getting from the government is probably super old and definitely not worth the money, I'll tell you that. If you're just watching for the first time, I have my medical license, so I kind of know a thing or two about decent stuff. <laughs> well, I'll turn that off. It's not even worth it. I don't think anything's coming out. Can't really see anything. And since I can't get all the stuff off the paper right now, what I'm going to do off camera is I'm just going to heat it up a little bit. Get a little bit melted and then clear it off. But yeah, second press. There's definitely some shininess on the bud yet. You can probably see that. And then there's a little bit of content. So there you have it guys. I'm not really going to bother doing the rest of the episode like I usually do. You know, weigh it and show you guys. It's just garbage. Anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. Give me a thumbs up if you do. Share, subscribe, uh, happy healthy hoots everyone and try to buy the best stuff you can, don't waste your money, thanks.